Hello there, Akko here. I'm almost at the stage where I've got a operational grid tech fusion reactor. I need seven more fusion coils. See, so I'm waiting on the um, iridium neutron reflectors, which I'm making over here. I need iridium plates to make some more. But this takes a lot of planning. There's a lot of things your server needs to be able to get to this stage. If you're playing on survival, we're not cheating. Um, we're playing on a standard Minecraft server. This is version 8.1.1. But we have Mistcraft added as an extra. We're currently getting rid of our Mistcraft ages. And um, we mainly use it for the link modifier to make following books. Oops, my book's called Eat Shit there. Um, we're currently getting things out of ages, we've had quarry ages, for example, and we're going to update to the new version of Mistcraft and start afresh, delete our notebook, and start it from afresh. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. There's certain things you're going to need. So, I'm going to do a couple of videos on this, to the point where we've got a running fusion reactor, so you can see how I've set it all up. But this first video is going to be mostly about certain prep work you need to do before you can even think about wanting to make a fusion reactor. Um, first of all, I'm going to start down in the basement. You're going to need a lot of steel. A lot of steel, coke oven. I found two coke ovens, one blast furnace. I've got these set up with our target gates, red pipe signal on, energy pulser, and this one low fuel red pipe signal so what this does this automates your steel production to an extent you can come in when you log on bang five stacks of coal in each of these relays bang tank ten stacks of iron in this relay come back the next day you've got another ten stacks of steel in your chest you need a lot of steel to start with what you also need is a lot of these bad boys Redstone golden chipsets, very useful. And pulsating chipsets, very useful. To a lesser extent, our tactic down and hand gates, also very useful. Because these can be used as alternates in recipes, the these ones, the redstone golden chipsets, can be used in, replace, in the place of circuits, so you don't have to use rubber so much. Um, one piece of gold and one piece of redstone a lot cheaper than six pieces of rubber, uh, six pieces of circuit, which is rubber and copper, and then refined iron and redstone. So it's, it works out cheaper. But of course, for this, you need buildcraft power and quite a lot of it. So you can see I've got a double boiler set up. So this is all part of the prep work that I think is the best way to ramp up to going big style with the Greg Tech stuff. So that's uh, that's the circuit side. Once you've got some steel, you're going to want to make industrial blast furnace. You're going to need tungsten, you're going to need titanium, you're going to need chrome. You need one of these for that. Also very useful, this is a Greg Tech grinder setup. I've actually got a grinder on each face, as you, you can do that. I've got three running water. By running water, I mean water cells. And I've got this one at the front here, is using mercury cells. The mercury cells, I've got nothing going in there, I've just got a button in the filter to stop things going in. Mercury cells, things like if you silk touch iridium, you want to put that through the mercury rather than the water as you get more resource. I did have all my processing going through this. I've kind of ended up with too much stuff and it was competing for power. Um, I've got a good solar system set up now, but obviously that takes a while to build. I've also got nine um, geotherms here running from a pump in the nether. But when I was running all my ores through here, you can see in the filters here, I've got bauxite, ferrous, diamond, tungsten. The diamonds, if I've silt touched it and I throw it in, same as the uranium, 
I'll throw it in this one. I could throw it in my relays downstairs. Uh, this one I had all the normal ores, but I stopped doing that because I've got I've got a bit too much of some of the normal stuff. Uh, 600 copper, 800 stacks of tin, a full barrel of iron, so on. So I'm actually running that through this little setup here using the thermal expan expansion machines now to uh, process my ores. Uh, I'm just collecting the rich slag, I'm not actually using it for anything because I don't really need at the minute. Um, what else do we need up here? Electrolysis, centrifuges. I found that these are slow. You get back backups in your system, so I found making four of each is a lot better. I have a couple of dedi dedicated for redstone, one dedicated for platinum dust. Um, the hydrogen cells one isn't really dedicated, but the ruby dust one is, ender dust one is. So if I throw some ender pearls, which we'll come to later, which you need a lot of, through the macerator, the dust comes through the electrolyzer, gets me beryllium cells, which is a key part of making a fusion reactor and also you're going to need for making your, irid your iridium plates you'll need a lot of industrial TNT let's have a relay behind making sure that stays full and we'll get to that as part of the prep because you'll find it's a stumbling block for making your iridium plates is that you need to chase and get industrial TNT all the time so you need to automate that a bit so some things your server is going to need First of all, so we've covered, you need some build craft power. We've covered, you need, right, okay. You're gonna start an EU power. What I made was 128 solar panels. I made 128 advanced solar panels. I've got an excess of power now. I gradually changed these into ultimate hybrid solar panels. I've got six of them. This is there. Uh, these six are purely are just feeding the mass fabric uh, the matter fabric area producing you your matter. Um something else useful. Something else useful. Make your scrap into scrap boxes. It works out the same in the matter fabric area. You just get nine times as many into a barrel. So it makes storing scrap a bit easier. So makers go big when you're making solar panels. 128 normal solar panels will equate to 16 ultimate hybrids eventually. 16 is a good good number. 16 will get you 8,000 EU a tick, which is the maximum amount of input for a matter fabricator, or the maximum amount of input for a fusion reactor to, to fire one up. So start with 128, gear up for 128. By that I mean set some project tables up. This is got a hybrid solar panel plan in there to upgrade advanced solar panels. I've got a solar panel plan to make the 128 to start with, advanced solar to make the to upgrade them. So Make some product tables, make some plans. This is for the scenarium plan. Enrich scenarium. So everything, I've got everything I need in this little collection of tables here to keep upgrading solar panels. As early on, it's um, usually the uranium that's slowing you down. And then it's obviously the iridium. So get that sorted. Use that as your power keep upgrading. Once you get to a point you can start thinking about not spending all your iridium on upgrading your solar panels and starting to put it towards fusion reactor. Now I did this after I got six. If you look on the roof up there it's a bit easy to see what's going on because of the, uh, the root setup. I've got, I've got six ultimate hybrids. That's getting me enough. That's putting uh, is it 1500 EU into each of these adjustable storage units so that's 3000 EU which is still not even half of the capacity of the matter fabricator but 
it's producing a decent amount it's producing enough that i think i can stop making these for a while i'm going to carry on and we'll put make all these into hybrids also hybrids but i can stop for a while i can make a fusion reactor because that's going to help more initially for making iridium faster and then once i've got better iridium production i'll be able to upgrade these a bit easier so get your solar panels made next thing you're going to need now soul shards very important mod for the grid tech i think you could do it without but you're going to want spawn farms two most important ones you're going to want creepers which are going to need a lot of gunpowder that gets us gunpowder and Endermen. You're going to want a lot of Ender Pearls. So, the minimum, you want at least these two spawners if you want to go big with Greg Tech. Full stacks of stuff here, full stack of gunpowder. This is a communal setup, but I made it all so. If the barrels overflow to go into my sorting system so this is all communal stuff and then any overflow goes to my system so i've got full barrels up in my system as well this is actual xp grinder i might show that in a different video on other videos i've seen people only use one or two jars i thought why not just surround it with jars plenty of xp then so yeah Gunpowder, you need a lot of. Ender pearls, you need a lot of. Right. I think that'll do for this video. And um, I'll make the next video soon. And show you why we need the amount of ender pearls we need. Okay, cheers. Bye.